let's discuss how to put market data in your Excel spreadsheet here. And I made the process really easy, so you only have to enter it in in one place. And then what happens is that data feeds into many of these options here, and then eventually in your crypto portfolio. And so what you do is make sure you're here on button 7.3, okay? And I'm just gonna make this a little smaller up here so we have more real estate, okay. And once you're on your settings tab, please scroll down to row 106. And I made the process really, really simple. So the first step is we're gonna to go together to finance.yahoo.com. And if you don't have an ID, create an ID there. And then we'll click on my portfolio, this image here on the website. I'll show you, let's go there together. Okay, so we'll go to finance.yahoo.com. And then make sure you sign in. And again, if you're not signed in, uh, make sure you, you sign in or you get an account. Okay. Then click on My Portfolio. Great. Let's go back for the next step. Step two is click Create Portfolio and then name the portfolio and keep it in US dollars for now because depending on what currency you use, I'm automatically going to convert it for you. So for example, I'm in Canadian dollars format on this spreadsheet. Later on, I'll show you how I convert it all into US dollars for you. If you're using US dollars, then just ignore what I just said. So, but still come with me over here, please, to create portfolio. So click this button here and I'll call it sample portfolio. Okay, save in US dollars. Great. Now, step three, we're gonna add tickers. And I want to make this easy for you. So before you click on the add symbols image in your browser, just double click here, highlight all of this, make sure you double click and then just copy it and then click add symbols. So let's go over here together, add symbols. Okay. Paste, enter. There we go. Great. So all the symbols are added for you. Okay. Let's go back now. And then step four, after we've, added all of those tickers, we're going to click on create new view. So let's go over here. And you might have to scroll over if you don't see it. So create new view. And then we're going to name our view. So I'll call it sample view. And then make sure please to select all of these items. Okay, scroll down until you're at the very bottom. And the reason we're doing this is because I've set up logic within the spreadsheet to pull in certain columns and certain data items on certain tabs. Okay, this will make a lot more sense to you soon. So click save. Okay, great. Let me go back here. Okay. And then we'll go down here. And in step six, we're just gonna copy all of the data, including the title field, okay? So let's do that together. And this will save you a lot of time later. Okay, so if I scroll over here, you'll see there's just tons of fields. And I'm going to highlight everything, including, please, the title here. Okay, so click here, drag down, select everything. Okay, make sure everything's selected. And then right click, copy. Then we're going to go back here. And then we're just going to paste in all the data right here. Make sure you select cell A206. Doesn't matter if you overwrite what I've got there, hit paste. There we go. I just paste it over top. Okay, great. And if you have any questions about this, please let me know. But what's going to happen now is every single tab that it has data linked here will automatically be updated. So if we go to the Bitcoin tab here, okay, it pulled this information off there directly. So Bitcoin is $109.73 billion market cap. It pulled that directly off of here, I'll show you. Remember that number, 109.73. Scroll down to 106. We'll look up Bitcoin right here. And the market cap is right here, 109.73. So it pulls all the data off directly. And I'll give you another example. So if you click on your crypto portfolio, and it might take a second the first time you click on it, but I've got all the data linked here as well. And there's just a ton of data linked uh, from multiple sheets here. And as we go throughout the rest of the course, I'll explain exactly how all this is updated. And again, the data is pulled directly off what we just inserted uh, on the settings tab. Please let me know if you have any questions about this. Thank you.